heals the sick And he heals the lame Says you can do it too In Jesus' name Your feet back, feet back on higher ground. Tell, tell, tell us what God done for you. Because the first time I saw you, you know, when you were in a wheelchair, how come you're running around now? Because God has been fine. Um, nine years ago, I could tell the day um, that I had gotten here on the 25th of August 2000. I had been badly assaulted um, and left with really severe back and leg injuries. Um, not long after that, I had to tuberculosis and I had hit my pelvis and all my inner that's where I feel a lot of pain. Um, over the years, I just got worse and worse. The majority of the time I had spent on the sofa, four years, and I hadn't been out of the door. And I became microphobic, severely depressed. I took a bed down, and, and everything <coughs> got worse and worse. And in May 96, I just couldn't take no more, and I asked the Lord and my life to cry in bed for him to come out of my life in the same situation. And he has changed so much. It's just unbelievable things that have happened. I got a wheelchair and a home house the same day. About, this is about four weeks after I got my life. People came to the door, was invited into a church, and it's just blossomed and blossomed. My whole life has just completely changed. And it could only give me a wee bit of time, only what I could cope with. And just to be able to get out of the door for an hour a week, an hour a day, and to be standing here tonight in front of everybody speaking as a miracle itself. Because I couldn't even have a conversation with anybody. And over the last couple of years, Things have just got better and better, mentally healed, physically healed, healed. I'm just only one week better at a time. When I want to have my mind healed, thank God to say that that is going to heal my body also. I came to Scotland to visit my two sons in July. I was meant to come before that, but I was so ill I just couldn't, wasn't able to get here. And my friend had asked me to go to the next day meeting. I had no idea that it was a healing service. I had never even seen a healing service before. They carried me upstairs for three weeks in the wheelchair. I can only tell you it was humiliating. It was just horrible. Uh, after each prayer, I got really sick. And I went home, back to Belfast, and I was so disappointed. I really felt that God had brought me here for a purpose. I went home and after a couple of days I started to feel better again. And I decided to come back again. Because God just <laughs> let me go. I just knew I had to be back here on Friday night. I had no idea why, I just knew I had to be here. And the more I tried to put it away, the more I had to get back on that boat. And when I came here on Friday night, that John was waiting on me. That's a goal, mate. He started to pray for me from outside on the pavement. And he prayed for me continually the whole night. He just would not leave me alone. I was on the floor, crying, laughing, everything. I, it just was so amazing. I just wish everybody could feel what I felt, the love of God, just surging right through me. It was just I'm very emotional. And John then came down again and prayed for me and went away and came back again. And he said there was going to be a miracle. And I'd love to see who it was. And that was for me. And he took 
took my hands and he picked me up and down the floor here. And I just, I just turned so lovely. And I'm just so, so happy just to be able to walk up that door because I was told I would never walk again. And God loved me so much to do Amen. that for me. And it's just amazing. Yes. Um, from that night, my kidneys are working again, my bowels are working again, my hands are working again. And slowly but surely, day in and day out, it gets stronger and stronger. I can't run a marathon yet, but I won't be long. <laughs> Put your feet back. 